face. <laughs> Feel that cringe. <laughs> the only cringe thing about that was he pretending not to unlock the door. Oh my goodness. So, hi guys. Basically, today we have decided to film my evening routine. As a lot of you guys wanted to know, what do I do in the evenings? And I thought as opposed to just filming my skincare routine and like basic stuff, I'm actually gonna show you what an average evening in the day of the life of me is like. Does that make sense? Yesterday I went shopping, so I didn't get a chance to film like a boomerang. I'm gonna film like a proper unboxing and probably like a vlog video. I'll just show you guys a boomerang on Instagram as I usually do. So I'm going to put on my favourite shoes and then we are going to go and do a quick unboxing first. Safety first guys, you never know who can come in. So obviously I'm at Elise's, not at my own house, but I don't really feel comfortable filming at my own house. And it's also middle of the day, it's not evening, but it's only for lighting purposes because filming in the evening would be atrocious. Anyways, today, first things first. We're going to film and do the hardest part of my day, which is taking selfies and filming and doing my eyes. I'm going to show you guys how I do it. Elise has so much unnecessary junk on this table, it's unreal. Like, have you even read any of these books? They're not supposed to be read, they're just supposed to be there to look pretty. Seriously, I don't know anyone that has coffee table books that actually read them. I know. Okay. By the way, that candle is amazing. Okay, let me just set it up. Oh no! <laughs> Why don't you do it of like opening the box? Yeah, fine. The box looks tattered, someone's gonna comment. Oh, it's old. How ugly do my hands look today? No, I think it's just the light. Like they look wrinkly in this light. <laughs> but they're not actually. Woo! Okay. What's that turn out like? Awful. Do you normally put a filter on yours? I do Paris. I like Paris a lot. It's quite Paris nice. is kind of awful. It's like for wrinkly old ladies. But I feel like no, I need Paris it No, right Paris is now. so nice. It like brightens everything up. No, but look, it smooths, smooths it all your wrinkles out. Yeah, but it makes everything Okay, but okay, for like this, it's fine. But when you do it on your face, it's just like, you know, someone old is doing it. Yeah. Oh my God, new. Hashtag Wait, I have not obsessed. Seen I can't spell. Ew. Is that okay? Do you think that's okay? Yeah. Yeah, you always have to like do the writing the same colour as something in the thing. Yeah, like, for aesthetics. sure. That's something you copied from me. No, it's not. <laughs> Okay, now that I've actually like just done a boomerang, I'm gonna actually open them and just admire them for a second. So, uh, I've already seen them, but yeah, nothing exciting. <laughs> They're so cute. They're honestly my favorite. Wait, guys. are those like the second pair you bought? Did yeah. you buy two pairs of these? You did. Yeah, this is the second pair. I might just buy another. Let's have a look. See guys, they are brand new for people that say she just reused the same pair. Haters gonna hate. Brand new. I could lick the bottom of that. And I it wouldn't I'm get a thing. Like... Don't do it. That is that is <laughs> disgusting. That do you know how many germs are on that? Do you know how many germs are on that? <laughs> okay, brand new shoes today. Um Okay, now that it's all done with, let's go make a cup of milk. I just bought the most amazing oat milk. Which oh my god, this is the best shit ever. I'm obsessed with oat milk. It's honestly life. And I like shaking it. This one is the Oatly. Is that the original one? The original oat drink semi. They're all like that, I think. No, trust me, they have like. <gasps> have you tried the milk, um, the chocolate one? Yeah, I bought it, but I took it back to my house. It's so good. I want to light that candle. It just looks really mm. naked. Now, oat milk is kind of like grey in colour, but honestly, it's the best. Bob. 
pop the bird head. <laughs> oh my god, please just have that, it's so good. I know, I love it. I had it this morning. No, but try this one. Also, guys, look, I'm such a good friend. I stocked up a cupboard with all this junk. I don't even eat junk food. I'm not allowed to eat sugar. <laughs> oh. Thank you for the vegetables, though. I bought you those. And you haven't eaten them. You haven't even opened them. Dinner, we actually have an exciting plan for dinner. But first things first, I need to get rid of all this hideous makeup. The first thing I like to do, apart from like taking my boomerangs and taking Instagram pictures and drinking my milk or tea or whatever I do, is to remove my makeup. My evening skincare routine is the favorite part of my day. It's like giving myself a facial. Oh my god, same. I love it. I don't know why people don't like doing it. It's just so therapeutic. So let's go and wash things first, over here, just change into my washing up t-shirt. First things first, I need to tie up my hair. I'm using a silk scrunchie, which I absolutely love. And I feel like silk scrunchies are my new favourite thing. They actually prevent your hair from like being pulled or like falling out, which is really good. And along with this, I also got some pyjamas as well as some silk pillowcases from a brand I will be discussing very soon. So ladies decide to grow two boobs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first things first. These are like the tails of Bridget Jones's bunny suit. Oh my god, yeah. Okay, but guys, first things first is to, do you have like a stool? I can't see myself. Okay, first things first, I need to wash my face, but I'm gonna use my favorite Quantum Botanica cleansing balm to just move all the makeup off my face. So as you can see, yes, this is yours. <laughs> this is like a clear gel-like substance, which kind of turns into like an oil. So I just put it all over my face. It actually comes with like a little marble Oh yeah. One thing I recently learned is to try and avoid taking off your makeup with makeup wipes because they're actually quite harsh on your skin. Like when you rub and rub, it can irritate the skin. So things like this are really good. But I do actually use a makeup wipe with this because this has basically lifted all the makeup off my skin. Therefore, my skin will allow the make well, the makeup wipe will just basically help remove it, remove this mixture that I just created on my face. So once, once you look like this, you get your makeup wipe and you just gently move all the makeup. Like I feel like if I didn't have this cleansing balm and I tried to remove my makeup with just a makeup wipe and my cellar water, it wouldn't come off as nicely. Like I feel like I have to sit there and use like two, three to remove this makeup. No, your headband's ruined. Oh. Where's it from? I actually got sent this when I got sent the Teamy um, face mask, which I'm going to be using. Oh my god, I really want one. I'm going to buy the tea just to get the headband. So once my skin is completely clear of makeup, I'm going to quickly just go in with the Biolite Hydro Cleanser. You guys know I only really strictly use Biolite products when it comes to like cleansing my face. I wash, just apply some water to my face and then foam up this cleanser. Now that my face is nice and foamy, I'm gonna wash this off and then apply one of my favorite green tea masks. Remember to always dab and not wipe. So as you guys can see, I'm pretty, I'm quite red, I'm quite inflamed usually because I have rosacea, like mild rosacea, but um, I've been using this mask from Teeny Blends. They sent me the detox mask. And usually when it comes to trying out skincare products, I'm quite hesitant because I'm very particular about what I put on my skin. So I've been using this two to three times a week and it has really helped my skin. It's a very nice, light and creamy kind of clay texture. And it's got matcha, lemongrass and loads of other stuff in it. It smells amazing. So I apply this all over my face with my fingers. You can use a brush, you can use 
nail that application method but I like using my fingers to ensure that I get a nice even kind of application and this smells so good I personally love using face masks whether they're sheet masks or clay masks but this is one of my favorite clay masks and you guys know how particular I am about products I use particularly on my face this honestly it smells great it looks quite cute <laughs> I look a bit like a Grinch but <laughs> it really works it honestly it's really helped my skin with the inflammation and you can actually see results after like the first use you guys will see it just lifts up all the dirt and bacteria from within your pores so if you've been wearing makeup after a long day just apply some of this and you'll be glowing so how does it feel on the skin right now so it tingles a little bit but it's got like a cooling sensation so it's not like it's burning but it oh my god you look like a ninja turtle not the grinch but like a cute one mm -hmm. <laughs> and they give you these bunny ears too i don't know is that a bunny no bunnies don't have these ears they're cute though whatever they are okay so we're gonna let this dry on my skin okay so this has been on my face for about 10 minutes now and usually i keep it on for about 10 15 max I don't like drying it out too much, but this is like the perfect amount of time. And I'm going to show you guys, whilst I remove it, how clear my skin looks. It literally just extracts all the blackheads and it has been so beneficial in my skincare routine. I do this, like I said, two to three times a week, depending on how much makeup I wear. Like sometimes I'll wear this in the bath. If I'm going for a bath, I'll keep this on and then at the end of my shower, I'll just wash it off. But, um... Yeah, let's go wash. So I apply a bit of water onto my hands to just kind of moisten and move the mask before just like wasting my time splashing it because otherwise it's not going to move and I'm going to be at the tap for hours trying to rub this off. Okay, so I just wanted to show you the results after the face mask. Can we just please appreciate my skin doesn't look red. Does it not look red? It, like kind of lost the redness yeah generally. like can you see the camera look how bright it looks oh my gosh you can actually even tell on camera because before it was like really blotchy and red so this was the second step well second or third and now i'm going to go in with my favorite scrub this is the perfect scrub from biolight it is a very gentle exfoliating scrub because obviously today i'm having an exfoliation day so i've used my mask and now i'm going to go in and just kind of remove anything else that's on my skin with this scrub and then another cleanser and then a moisturizer so this is the perfect scrub from biolite it's a very gentle whipped formula and it's got tiny little micro grains on it so i just apply this onto my skin just very sparingly this is one of my favorite products from biolite because honestly it smells so good as well and just rub what's your favorite biolite product i mean i say all of them but this is definitely one of my favorites and the uh, deep pore cleanser, it's so good. And ideally on your face, you should be using a gentle scrub, nothing too harsh, because you don't wanna actually strip too much moisture off your skin or too much away. So whilst my face is still wet, I'm gonna go in with the deep pore cleanser from Biolite. I'm gonna use just a tiny little amount, just that much, and rub it into my skin like I did with the other cleanser and this is like the penultimate step of my skincare routine in the evenings and when I said I give myself a facial I wasn't joking this is literally like my bathroom time it's my favorite time just massaging my face getting my collagen flowing getting the blood flowing like honestly I don't care how tired I am I always have to do like this I don't, care. I don't know how people can see it with makeup on, like it just makes me feel oh, like it makes me feel sick. Honestly, it's so gross. Now that this is nice and foamy, I can wash it off and apply my favourite aqua fluid moisturizer. Before I actually 
apply my moisturizer i'm gonna go for a nice long hot shower sometimes i'll go for a bath but because i want to actually make dinner tonight and be productive i'm not gonna go for a bath i'm gonna go for a hot shower now that i've finished my shower what i love to do after exfoliating and using an aveeno body wash i also use the aveeno daily moisturizing lotion this is a product i recently started using and it's honestly been amazing it's like a really lovely buttery texture and it leaves your skin so smooth it's ridiculous up until now i was using like baby oil and like loads of other like palmers and this none of them actually gave me the same kind of skin feeling as the Aveeno does. I love and I got this. Who actually, I was watching like someone's seven things they can't live without. I think it was like two chains. That's so random. I can't remember. It was really random, but he was like, "Yeah, Aveeno, I love this shit." And I was like, "I need to try it." <laughs> so I got it and honestly I'm obsessed. What does it smell like? Is it like I love the smell of Palmer's? Like that's I my do love smell. the Palmer smell, but this doesn't really have much of a scent. It's more like a wheaty kind of scent, like case okay, so it's more like natural. Yeah. Oh natural. Twenty-four hours moisture for dry skin. It's oh oatmeal. Colo You're Colo really obsessed with oat these oats these days, aren't you? I'm really obsessed with oats. Guys, I can't emphasize how important it is to moisturize daily. Even if you feel like you have oily skin, the oil is only there because your skin, like your sebaceous glands, are actually overworking because your skin isn't producing enough moisture to actually hydrate your actual skin. It overproduces to compensate. Okay, now time to change into my pajamas, so. Yay! So once I'm finished with dinner whilst it's cooking i'm gonna finish off doing some editing I'm just gonna scroll through instagram have a look and see what everyone's up to i like to try and avoid social media during the day unless i'm doing something exciting then i'll like you know instagram it but i'm not much of an instagram social media person anymore like i'll film when i have to i'll upload when i have to but yeah so we're gonna do some editing and then i also have packages i need to package and ship off so i'm going to package some orders for my cosmetics brand for those of you that don't know i have my own line of lipsticks we might be branching out into new products soon and yeah exciting stuff so i like to hand package all my orders when i'm in london because we do actually ship everything from london if i'm not here then elise will obviously do it for me or i'll get like a friend to do it but I feel like it's important to be very hands-on when you have your own business, so I like being as hands-on as possible. And yeah, it's really rewarding, especially when you guys like send me comments and let me know like how much you're loving the product, even though the business is still quite small. It's really fun. So now we can scroll through Instagram. Look at my feed. Wow. I haven't uploaded in days. I haven't film. uploaded in so long. So now I'm just going to go through my channel and check out my latest videos that I've uploaded. This one was supposed to go up last night, but I haven't finished doing the description for it or choosing the right thumbnail. So I did film my trip back to London, but this is like the first few days that I got back. Elise and I went grocery shopping. I had a very heavy period. <laughs> Fun times. I also found a really cool thumbnail. Oh God. People are going to... For week out. <laughs> Next thing I knew, I was pregnant. I think dinner's gonna be ready soon, so then we can eat and get into bed. Okay, so this is my meal. This is a Zaster Spice chicken with creamy lentils and zucchini and honestly it took literally 20 minutes to do and i tasted the lentils whilst they were in the pot they taste delicious i actually added a bit of a, well, a tiny bit more garlic and a bit of chili as well a tiny bit of turmeric for a bit more flavor mmm This is actually decent. Like, I'm surprised I made this. You're actually a really good cook. It's like that one time you eat fish. Mm. I'm going to finish my meal. Finish a bottle of water. And, um, 
get into bed for some light reading. Bedtime, but before I get into bed, I know it's still bright outside. I usually get into bed by about, I'm not joking, 8 p.m. because I have dinner around 7, 6.30, depending on how hungry I feel. I try not to eat too late, but I get into bed pretty early because I like my sleep. So as you may or may not know, I recently got into reading a lot more than I used to recently. And I'm so excited to be partnering with this amazing new app that I discovered. It's called Radish Fiction. They have a variety of thousands of romance and best-selling novels from some amazing authors. And they give you basically bite-sized chapters, which are really, you know, convenient for like your morning everyday commute or once you get into bed or in your lunch break. What I found is that they have a really original collection of novels and like romance stories. And I found it quite interesting because I haven't found content like this anywhere else. Instead of having to like read something that's quite heavy and like intense in the evenings, I like to read something that's quite lighthearted and just easy to read, which isn't gonna like fry my brain because I do love a good juicy story and they have a variety of very juicy stories. Okay, I kind of want to give you guys an idea, an Elise an idea of right, like the stories that you're gonna die. Let's hear this. So what's the book called and who's it by? It's called um, Fraternity Madam and basically it's about like this college student, this virgin who set up an escort service to like help her brother. It's interesting. Okay, just listen to this. I'll read you guys like a tiny excerpt so you get an idea of what kind of content this app has. Evan's soothing voice and comforting embrace had its intended effect. Gradually, Ali gained control of her breathing and the sobs diminished. I went to the hotel room, she said, in a voice so quiet Evan had to strain to hear it. Jack was her. I trusted him and he was <gasps> <laughs> You walked in on Jack with someone else, Evan said, his eyes blazing with anger. That beep! <laughs> with mum, Ali said, gagging from the urge to vomit again. The well stopped. Evan's eyebrows scrunched as he tried to process what Ali had said. He looked at her in disbelief, his mouth opening and closing without words. Just he like quickly... <laughs> He quickly regretted his accurate but insensitive, insensitive word choice. I walked in on Jack screwing mum. <gasps> what? <laughs> what kind of mother sleeps with her daughter's boyfriend? And I feel like this story, this particular one, it just keeps getting better and better every time. There's just so much drama in it and it's just like, what is going to happen next? And I honestly, I find myself not being able to put this down. I actually want to know what's going to happen next. I really enjoy this like I honestly find I used to find it really difficult to pick up a book and continue reading it But with content like this, which is like juicy. It's like watching like It's like watching a TV show, but like a soap opera But reading about it to just kind of broaden your vocabulary and your mind I find it just so much more interesting than watching TV. So this is the app and Fraternity Madam is what I've been reading so you can get a brief summary of like what's the book is about and I'm just going to continue reading it's honestly so good but yeah okay so now once I finish reading once I finish brushing my teeth once I've had my dinner I am gonna have to hit the sack get some shut eye and go to sleep because I am exhausted from my long day and I need to sleep so shut my curtains I'm just kidding it's like 3 p.m. <laughs> let's go check out Chelsea in bloom um, but yeah that was my evening routine basically guys I literally walk you through everything I do almost every evening I have like a pretty basic routine but that is a general overview of my routine oh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up button if you enjoy this video i will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching